Hi, my name is Ilo Bulvi and tonight I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to add sodium bicarbonate to a swimming pool. The one on this side is water which is hot and the one on this side is water which is cold. Both have been taken from the same kitchen tap and are equal quantity. Now when adding sodium bicarbonate into a swimming pool it's important that we always use cold water and I'm going to demonstrate why. So I have here some sodium bicarbonate and we're just going to take an equal quantity of sodium bicarbonate and add these into the sample. So I'll just start with the first one and I'm just going to take an equal measure into the first sample and just add it. Okay, and then I'm going to take a second quantity, the same equal measurement and add it into the cold water sample. And what you should be able to see already is you should be able to see the hydrogen gas bubbling off the sodium bicarbonate. Now sodium bicarbonate's formula is NHCO3 and what's happening here in the sample which you can see it went all misty. Now that's the hydrogen gas sparkling and bubbling off it which is causing the sodium bicarbonate to become sodium carbonate. And sodium carbonate will know soda ash or sometimes has the trade name of pH plus. So when adding sodium bicarbonate to a swimming pool with the intention to increase the alkalinity, it's really important that we always add it into cold water as you can see in this sample here. Although I haven't touched either by dissolving it, you can quite clearly see that this sample stayed clear and the hydrogen gas isn't bubbling off. This sample is increasing the pH while this sample is increasing the bicarbonate alkalinity of the water. Now I often get asked questions about increasing alkalinity, it doesn't work or it hasn't changed, I added load last night, it didn't do anything, and it's because you're throwing it straight into a swimming pool often, and what's happening is it becomes pH plus sodium carbonate, increases the pH, the chemical controller picks this up, and then basically it sort of starts demanding acid and burns through your day tank. So you come in the morning, your day tank's almost empty, um, and you've had no improvement whatsoever on your bicarbonate alkalinity. As I say, this was just a quick demonstration and you can quite clearly see the sample is still bubbling and the hydrogen gas is coming off this. And if you were to do a pH test before and after, it would show clear evidence that the pH in the hot water has increased um, exponentially compared to the cold water sample. And this is why it's important to get water as cold as possible measure out the bicarbonate alkalinity that you require for your swimming pool and then add it to it last thing at night. You will obviously get an increase in TDS but as a rough calculation the calculation exists at roughly 1.5 kilograms of sodium bicarbonate for every 50 meters cubed of volume of your swimming pool when wanting to lift it by 20 milligrams per litre. I hope this helps and if you have any more questions just post a comment. Thanks a lot. Bye.